the committee talked about the report to media and the victim's families. Each member of the committee stated their findings on the preliminary report and then followed up with questions by the media. However, by the end, many of those families were frustrated by the lack of answers. The Texas House Committee leading the investigation of the Robb Elementary School mass shooting consists of Republican Representative Dustin Burroughs as the chair, Democratic Representative Joe Moody from El Paso as vice chair, and Republican former Supreme Court Justice Eva Guzman. It's not to just blame one person or one thing. Their goal today was to focus on the report and its findings. If we need a simple phrase to describe what the report says, again, I would tell you multiple systemic failures. After each committee member stated their comments, the room opened for media questions, many asking about gun legislation and accountability from law enforcement agencies. The Honorable Eva Guzman said the Texas House Committee learned of the importance of an incident commander on a scene. The failure to have an incident commander on the scene to receive information and to communicate with the media, I believe in part led to some of the information that was reported inaccurately. We also asked about transparency. All of those open records that media have put in, no one's received any information. Will all of those documents be released from the investigative report that y'all have given? When a House investigatory committee is formed, we do our work in executive session and the documents that were delivered, most of those I legally cannot release. Promptly at 5.30, the committee was set to go to mass, but many of those families who attended the press conference were not happy their questions were not addressed. A mother whose daughter survived the Robb Elementary shooting says the community did not get the answers they deserve from this report. Because they want to do this. They want to hide everybody and not answer any questions. They need to come out. They need to show their faces. They need to answer all of our questions. Uvalde Mayor Don McLaughlin also held his own impromptu press conference as soon as the Texas House Committee press conference had wrapped up. Besides releasing that body cam footage, he also stated that acting Uvalde Police Chief Lieutenant Mariano Pargas is now on administrative leave. He also said that the city of Uvalde will be holding their own internal investigation. Reporting in Uvalde, I'm Chelsea Torres.